What's crackalackin' folks? Welcome back to Neo 2, where we last episode defeated this bad boy here. And another one right here in here. Speaking of, it is still locked? No. No, it's not. Interesting. It looked like it still had the lock on it. Travel amulet, land, plant fruit, arrows. Oh, it's not an accessory. Interesting. Switch glaives. We have any better ones? Nope. And Kazayama. We picked up the bamboo, but it's just worse, period. But we picked up two or three souls, soul cores, even. So it was. Quite a bit. I think it's Guardian Spirit. This is the one we have equipped. Hmm. How do I how do I change those again? I thought it was in the Guardian Spirit menu. Attunement limit. Okay. There's no button to actually... Um... Okay, so we only can have so and so many powerful ones. You don't stack like two of the most powerful ones on top of each other. They're like, actually, you have to limit yourself. So this one is the big... Uh, slam. Yeah, it's, it's a downward slam and then a an upward like hit. So we don't know what the special effects are. Level 13. We don't know what the level is. Hmm. All right, we have to go to a shrine to attune them, I think. Speaking of shrine, we have 10,800 Amrita. That's like two solid levels. So how about we go back and actually lock those in? <laughs> Wait, there's a... There's another Yoki over there. And maybe that comes from underground? Okay, I got it. So you have to go your shrine to purify the soul cores and then you know which ones they are and what they do so this is level 15 this is level 9 this is the smash and this is the throw right yeah so this is a higher level than the one we have right now so well first let's level up every skill is plus one plus two What was the one for the Kazarigama? Plus three. Plus 25, plus three for the Switch Glaive. Skill on is plus one for each. It's kind of meh. Plus two. What is the strongest one for the um, Kazarigama? It's plus. It's strength or con. Yeah, con gives us the same. And strength gives, gives us more equipment load. And resistance versus water. Like it's a plus 0 0.5. That's actually not bad. Is it when you go to 6 you get that? Yeah, so going to 6 in all of these gives you... Gives you increased resistance against elements. Constitution is poison paralysis. Heart... Courage is lightning. Stamina is nothing. Uh, strength is against water. Skill, nothing. Dexterity, nothing. Magic, nothing. Okay. So what we do here? I, it says magic is scaling strongly with switch glaive. And it's only plus two. Where if we do... 
That was the con. It's plus three, actually. So <laughs> I think we can go with con to get more damage out of our... I think we can level up again, yeah. More damage out of our switch glaive. And that would be plus three for the Kusai Gamma. Oh, so now for the Switch Glaive, it is actually plus zero when we level up skill. Interesting. I guess it depends on the dominant one more than the secondary ones scaling. So interesting. Yeah, this one doesn't raise a Switch Glaive at all right now. Interesting. Hard gives us more key, which could be useful. And more resistance is fire. I think more key is very useful. I think it's the only one that gives us key. Dexterity is Kusarigama and then Yutsu power. I think we go for heart so we get more more key to play around with. And then Guardian Spirits. Now we can exchange the Soul Cores, right? Ah, uh, we can't compare, I guess. Yeah. Oh, this is one we have. So we have the Enki Soul Core. What is the Dweller one? Oh, we spawn a dweller? <laughs> Interesting. So we have paralysis resistance, which we haven't needed yet, but it's good to keep in mind. Equipment drop rate versus yokai, plus 1.5. Amrita gauge charge, plus 4. And this one is... Anima bonus, damage taken, C. Melee damage versus humans. Life drain. Yoka ability hit. Okay, add and drop rate. Yoka shift. Hmm, interesting. So we have the Enki Soul Core, which is attack plus six. So I think we just fuse these two into the 13. And the Misuki one is, is decent, I think. So this says it gives more defense. Hmm. But attack is down. I mean this one seems pretty decent. And we the the Pleiades. I actually don't remember what that does. The Marita Gauge fills up faster. So if we kill someone with an enemy with this attack, our Amrita Gauge will fill up faster by almost 30% for a bit. Better attack in the Yokai Shift. Anima Charge in the Dark Realm is more and attack is plus six. That's a pretty good one. So I think we're just gonna forge this one down. Uh, manage Soul Cores, there we go. Soul Fusion. So we take the base of this one and we fuse this one in. What we get here, attack plus seven. And anima bonus, the same. Yeah, that's the new one on the right, okay. So we had anima bonus, C plus, we stay melee damage a bit more. We gain life drain, yoka ability hit, and attack plus one more, and the movement speed. Good deal. And for the other one, not sure if we should just throw away or uh, rest <laughs> the other one. This one also seems maybe valuable at a higher level, not right now. And we t still have a ton of soul fragments. And the Dweller Soul Core, it might be good for the par Paralysis Resistance. All right, let's keep going.
Oh, that guy respawned. Oh, he throws them. Interesting. I wonder if we equip the two hand axes, if we can actually throw them too. There's another shortcut here. There's a lot of shortcuts up into the roofs, I realized. So we'll see. It, it seems like there might be two areas here, separate from each other. So for now, as I mentioned last episode, we're just going to check out what's down here. These are like mines. There's another entrance here. Hmm. Do we have access to that one? No, I think it's over here. Yeah. That's kind of telling us, do not forget that you should come down again. Oh, Kodama. Hello. No, oh, coming out. It's okay. Hey, let me guide you back. Whee! All right, cool. I wonder if those two that we we talked about before are connecting. It might actually not be the case. This is not an exit or anything people can drop from. What? Don't you dare try your grab attack. What is this? Okay, just three dwellers. Oh, does that lead up? Maybe we get to the other side of the fence already here. Or maybe... Yeah, that's where the chest is nice now the question is where does that lead us is that another area <gasps> yes that gets us up to the <laughs> that gets us on top of the houses and the roofs very nice. And that's where the first shortcut is. So we can come up here. And it does connect to the other roofs. Nice. Is there anybody up here? That's the question. We cannot go past here. We have been in there. There was nothing much to see. I have yet to see a collapsing roof. Cause that was that was a big thing in Neo One. Yeah, that just goes over to the other side. Well, let's not burn ourselves. I mean, I wonder if we could have gotten an initial drop attack uh, on the yokai we fought. That would have been nice. So this is explored. Kick the ladder, should we need it. Now, there was another ladder going down, so... No, don't burn yourself. Oh my god. That fire did so much damage. Ah, uh, you're burning now. Why do I feel the fire did way more damage to me? 
It took like a very good chunk of health out of me. <laughs> and yeah, we can pick that up. Rip. So be it. Okay, where was that ladder? I think behind here. Oh, why did it not continue? Either way, I thought it would do the... Yeah, that one. Guess I didn't press it long enough or hold it. So, second cave. Or mine. Hmm, I see you lurking. Come on, peek again. Yeah, speak for me. <laughs> what is this? A demon mouse walking and its two legs? <laughs> I'm sure it will transform into something uh, much bigger. I would be surprised if it didn't. <laughs> but that's where studied from afar. <laughs> My god, the dodges. <laughs> Can I not hit it? No, I can't. This is like a demon Kodama? It seems as I as thought it wants something. Hmm. I'm sorry, I could have thrown these weren't the things I threw away. Oh, I understand. Uh, what did we just pick up? Yeah, you, you can exchange things, so to speak. Um, how about I drop a stone? <laughs> oh, it's a one-time you so to speak interesting yeah so we got something okay -ish. but probably the the better of an item you give it the better items you get in return so this is behind the wall very nice question is does it lead us anywhere it seems so the so dark souls there's the birds that um when you drop something well, the right thing. They will exchange it to a very rare, very particular item. So figure it's the same as this one. And it kind of is. Except I think it takes anything uh, you drop. Oh, they throw bombs now. We already had a hunter switchglaive. He survived the fall. Wow. We dropped down there, we'd be dead. <laughs> I already know. Okay. No. Well then, at least we're past the uh, yokai. Oh, you! So. What I've read is that it gives you some benefits, like, I guess, more Marita cured and stuff like that accrued. But I still haven't completely found out what it, you know, what it actually used for. We should probably take that time where we have it to fight the yokai, but... That was a massive... God, stop it. Yeah, 
you think you are? Healing? Absolutely not, sir. Can we open this? No. I assume there's someone in here. No? Hmm. Okay, we can level up again. I like this too on the bottom right. I think when it's golden, it shows you that you have enough to level up. And that is the shortcut to the shrine. Very nice. So let's go back to level up. And then I think I go up there and then defeat that yokai that we kind of skipped. Because, you know, we want the familiarity and stuff. Do we want more key and a bit of life? I'm not sure. Plus one. Yeah, it seems like everything just level. No, the strength. Well, Kusari Gamma. So which one does give the switch glaive more? We have plus one here. Pretty much nothing, so let's put one into magic to hopefully get the switch glaive. Um, be able to use the other attributes to scale up as well. Seems weird that sometimes it pretty much does nothing. I'm gonna use the Kusari Gamma for that one. He was too late. What is the timing in this one? What is the parry time in this? Jesus. It's a very weird timing. I have to get used to that one first. Not very confident in this one. Oh. All right. Yeah, that was clear. I'm going to die if I miss that parry. It's very weird. I, I don't know exactly what I need to look for. It feels like I was too late. And also that the axe too is awful to practice that on. Um Is valuable to learn how to parry. Hey, come here. I'm gonna practice now. I 
think I'm too early. Oh, no man. Timing. Was this too late? Oh, you have to be like really early. <laughs> I feel this one doesn't need to be that early, but it looks like it has to be that early. Very interesting. Okay, let's go back. To what we wanted to do before we move on and fight that yokai and I don't know should the uh, what's the name Toro or something spawn here oh right we have that one take that one out first we do not want to have bombs thrown at us while we fight the yokai oh what Too late. You did the red attack. <laughs> so Ippon Tatara. He's the one that absolutely ruins our day. Honestly, I think it's easier to put that way. Or we can just run through everything here. We're probably gonna just run through past that. Why was I why was I staggered there again? Like I wasn't out of stamina, I think. Alright. Left way is shorter. Let's fight that one again. Just ignore the axe man. Hatchet man, whatever. Go away. again. Oh my god, the damage! So rough. It's also such a confined area. And it's, it's slower to run this way, but we don't have to deal with that hatchet man. Who is extremely annoying. And nothing else. Ah, oh, but I have to run past him to get to my shit. Yeah, it's 
fight up here. Oh, it didn't hit. Totally worth it. Oh, there's a spirit stone there. Nice. Maybe that's just what it dropped. Okay. We got stuff we don't care about. And then any light. This is light. Not as good. So Haya mask looks pretty cool. Oh, strength required nine. So now we have requirements. So the single one has then constitution and skill requirements. So we have to put some more into skill down the road anyway. These ones are worse. These ones are better. More new to power, more toughness, and return to earn defense. Yeah, I switch, switch to those. And we did get Greaves. But no better ones. Alright. One more time, that guy. Stop it. Nope. Yeah, he's easy to deal with. <laughs> Once you know him and have more patience <clears throat> I think I think I need to do like way before I still don't understand the timing yeah, you need to be extremely early. And some attacks just don't have the window you need. Because this one, I pretty much parried as soon as I saw the sword move. And that was a slow attack. I think the stabbing one, you don't have much luck trying to parry that one. It's just too fast. It's just interesting that they want such a large wind-up window. When Dark Souls is much more you have to parry at the exact correct time. Yeah. 
like when actually the pixel of the attacking weapon hits yours in your parry animation, it will parry. Um, but not otherwise. Here it's. It, you just need to parry, press the parry button a lot ahead of time. It feels more random to me. Ah, uh, spear. Fine. Uh, archer? Bruh. What is this? Can't shoot through here? Really? My god, aim up. Thank you. Archer. I hate that. But the pulling forward is good, but I sometimes you just have to do it twice. So they're close enough. Another hatchet man. Looks like. That was an epic miss. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> we both had the same idea at the same time. I just let go earlier <laughs> of the charge up. And did win. A choco cup. Oh, you're an archer, really? Oh my god. Honestly, I can't be bothered. I actually thought I had the Kuzari Gamma out. That's why I was doing the heavy strong attack. Ronin's face plate, Ronin's race guard. I think Ronin is heavy. No, it's medium. Okay. Oh, we got Shinobi bracers, but yeah, we have those equipped already. Okay. Nothing new for us to worry about or equip. The uh, bath? Question mark. Those are two Kodamas, huh? like just swimming in their hats. Interesting. Maybe we can get there. It's a cutscene or something. So is this our first boss coming up? An enemy? No. There's a yoke up there. You can throw the. Okay, you have to throw the water barrels in there. And there's a shrine. Very nice. It's also kind of funny that the shrine is like literally <laughs> next to the other shrine. <laughs> Oh, you! I will pick you up in a second after I go to the shrine. I do want you to come along. <laughs> okay, now I see why <laughs> it's there. Let's clean up here if anything nice drops. Oh, the bomb one. Bit lower health than full. Stop it. Yeah, I hear the yokai stomp around up there. And then I saw that one. There's a yokai like spawner. However you want to call it. Um, at the very last one. Wow. 
No way. Well, this one might take out the fire. Towards. Oh, there's another yokai here. Yeah, so he protects the chest. We still can't get up. So given we have enough to level up. Yeah, he spawned. Oh, another one of these. Sorry, don't have time for you. Oh my god, the wailing. I think he did the paralysis effect, Lagaki. Anyway, give me enough time. I uh, died here. I'm just gonna run past, get my Amrita. Uh, it's not that easy to run past, I feel. He did. He wants some. Yeah, this one's also super early, but I think a less risky. Than the Kusari Gama version. And for this one, sorry, you're a spear user. I don't want to bother with you. Thank you. So, let's level up! And then we explore this weird area in the next episode. We have quite a bit, Amrita, now. So, we wanna go for skill. It's a plus one on everything again. Plus three... For the Kusari Gamma. So plus one. Part. I mean, more key would also be nice. I think currently we are fine. We just need to pace ourselves. Which is okay. Yeah, let's just go with skill. And that's it. So next episode, we will figure out what is going on. In this forge or whatever it is, uh, there are a bunch of yokai in there that we have to take care of. And I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.